Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. This is 113 Coyote speaking. Anyways, last time we left off, we had just walked out of the classroom we were trapped in, and noticed that every door in this building happened to be locked. There, were also a, there was also a set of staircases leading up. However, there was a shutter blocking our way in there. So, as... As, like the letter in the room we were in dictated, we went to the front entrance to find out where the other students were. And we met up with 14 of the other students, presumably in our class. Now we've been talking to them and introducing ourselves, and here are the next five. First things first, who are we going to talk to? Hmm. How about this girl right here? Junko Inoshima. I feel like we've seen her face before. Supermodel. We have seen her face before. I think I might read Makoto's inner dialogue, but save all of the other dialogue for just the characters to read off themselves. I want you to read off if you'd like to. She's the super duper high school supermodel. A role, mo a role model for high school girls everywhere. I can't quite put my finger on it, but... Huh? Like Photoshop. Shame, isn't it? Alright, who's this young lady right here? She Hiro Fujisaki. Domo Hajimashte Fujisaki Chiro desu. Programmer. Cutest smile I've ever seen. She's written countless innovative computer programs. And on top of that, it seems her rather mousy demeanor has netted her a mob of rabid fans. Here at Kibogamine Academy, she's known as the Super Duper High School Programmer. <laughs> 
you know, I think I understand where that mob of rapid fans is coming from. Nah, who should we talk to next? How about this guy over here? Who is he? Mondo... Read his name. Oawada. Oreva Oawada Mondo da. Oawada Mondo. Outlaw biker, basically gang leader. Mondo Oawada. He's the second leader of Japan's largest, most violent biker gang. Delinquents nationwide fear and revere him. The super duper high school outlaw biker. Oh. Ah, uh, there's that dialogue glitch again. I should be especially careful around this guy. One wrong move and it's the sea floor for me. We've been avoiding this young lady in the center, let's talk to her. Kyoko Kirigiri. Super duper high school. Question mark. She must be one of the girls we didn't see earlier on the thread. She's rather reserved, isn't she? This is also the first time I've ever heard the name Kyoko Kirigiri. It wasn't anywhere in the new students at Kibogami Mei Academy thread. Come to think of it, aside from myself, there was one other incoming student I couldn't find anything about. Could this be her? Nani? Since I couldn't find any info on her, I thought it might be ha I'm yeah. I thought it might have been luck that brought her here, like me. It's like she's wearing an iron mask. All I know is what she'll tell me. Exactly nothing. Definitely the mysterious type. Hi, Asahina. Well, she's energetic. Super duper high school swimmer. Aoi I I I am sorry, I cannot pronounce that first name. Aoi Asahina. As I recall, she's been going to swim tournaments since elementary school. Systematically tearing down pretty much every record she's come across. And now she's been selected as a candidate for Japan's Olympic swimming team. I couldn't think of a better person to hold the title of Super Duper High School Swimmer. The net is making a huge splash about our combination of incredible talent and good looks. Mm. No surprise there. <laughs> I hope not. As she murmured my name, she traced something out in her palm with the tip of her index finger. Order?
Well, at the very least, I've learned she's got a boundless supply of energy. And these are the last four. Wonder what they have to say. Okay, she's the most interesting person here. Sakura Oogami. Oogami. Alright. I seriously love how they bounce up. Oh. I seriously love how they bounce up and down when you hit them with a question mark. It's like, oh. Super duper high school fighter. Now this is one of the um, translations that I think actually fits her better. In the one I read, she was listed as a super high school level wrestler. Which I could definitely see that being a thing. But, I don't know. Fighter, I think, fits her a little more. Especially since uh, we find out stuff about her in her um, free times, which I'll explain what those are later. That makes more sense if she's a fighter. Anyways. Yikes! Well, I was a split second from saying you're a guy, right? The day I let that one slip, she left my head on a spike. Crown champion at an American MMA tournament, despite being female. The, stu the super duper high school fighter has come out has come out of over 400 matches with a flawless record. Here's what it said about her and the new students at Kibogami the Academy Press. Nicknamed Ogre, Sakura Oogami is said to be one of the few fighters strong enough to rival the specimen. To any new students lurking this thread, I advise you, heed my warning. If you value your life, stay as far away from her as you can. And standing her face to face with her, that's exactly what I want to do. Boy. Without even realizing it, my body had tensed up, and I was standing at attention. And then she began running her hands up and down my body. Not Actually, quite the contrary, I couldn't be happier. Next up, how about this girl over here? Celeste. Doesn't give us a last name. Whoa. That's quite the eccentric name. Super duper high school high roller. Uh, original in uh, the translation I read that came out as super high school level gambler, I'm pretty sure. I've never heard the term high roller though, so I mean, there I mean there might not be a reason for me to point that out. <laughs> huh? There's a forceful undertone to her politeness. Proceed at your own risk. The rumors about her and the new students at Kibogami Ne Academy thread appear to be spot on. As the super duper high school high roller, the word defeat is not part of her lexicon. She calls herself Celestia Ludenberg, and beyond a taste for gothic Lolita fashion, everything about this mysterious girl is vague in rumor and mistruth. Victor in the ultimate underground gambling tournament, the Liar King, in which participants compete to steal each other's assets. She is rumored to have bankrupted all the other competitors, destroying their lives in the process. <laughs> that smile of hers kind of gives me the creeps. She's a difficult one to read, huh? Let's go for this guy next. Yasuhiro Hagakure. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Super duper high school shaman. 
Uh, and the translation I already came out as um, Super High School Level Fortune Teller, which I think fits more, but I mean, he does do some stuff and say some stuff later that really falls way out of the fortune telling thing. You'll understand what I mean later. Yasuhiro Hagakure, the supernova, poster child for the new age of fortune telling. A legend among soothsayers, Yasuhiro Hagakure is known as the super duper high school shaman. Honestly, I don't really get things like crystal balls on fortune tellers, but I do kind of wonder just how often they get things right. Um, I, uh, okay, sure. Yakuya Togami. What? Togami Yakuya. Super Duper High School Scion. Again, I'm not quite sure what that means. Uh, translation I read said air. Could be the same thing though. I don't think I've ever met someone so obviously apathetic about an introduction before. Though I should hardly be surprised. This guy is exceptional, even compared to the other Super Duper High Schoolers. Esteemed son of financial giants, the Togami Group. The Yakuya Togami was groomed to serve a single purpose, inherit control of the group. With several companies already under his control and having accumulated a vast personal fortune, he's on a whole different level, the fitting of the title Super Duper High School Scion. Well, that's what it said in the new students at Kibogamine Academy thread, at least. Oi. And I guess that does it. That seems to be everyone. Um, I'm not quite sure how long we've been running. You know, I should really set a timer for this, like, get, like, a little ding thing. So, at the end of every video, you can hear, like, a ding and be like, Oh, the muffins are done, I gotta go! That was a bad joke. Um, no, I forgot to mention this in the last video, but I'm gonna try and aim for two of these videos a day, if I can, and if I have the time to. Which I should, I mean, it's... I'm pretty much free most of the summer most. But, um, I'm not quite sure how long these videos should be, whether I should keep them at the 20 minute mark or bump it up to 30. Uh, whatever feedback you guys give me, whichever you think sounds better, I'll go with. I'm aiming to please you and hopefully give this good this game a good name. At the very least, entertain some of you. Anyways, let's see what else we have to say before we sign off. There's certainly no lack of, shall we say, diversity. Not surprising from a group dubbed Super Duper. Certainly not fishy at all.
way of dealing with things. And right as the room's tension was beginning to release, it began. It was a voice so light-hearted, so whimsical. It felt like it was being transmitted from another world. And that feeling, that sensation of out-of-placeness, quickly transformed into an intense discomfort. But we'll have to find out more about that next time. Join us next time on Let's Play Don Gunropa.